Good morning and welcome to this week's vlog. It is Saturday, June the 3rd at 7.51 in the morning. Just got off of a 12 hour night shift. Um, last night was pretty good. Um, so funny things happen. First thing is that I was like, we should definitely like go on a girl's trip, like me and the girls at work. We should go on a girl's trip um, to Nashville. Like I feel like that'd be so fun, like cowboy boots and cowboy hats and like the Daisy Dukes and like super cute super cute and Hannah is like not party goer at all and neither am I neither am I but like I like to have a good time I like to do it for the gram you know what I mean um and Hannah was like oh like did you find a weekend that like we all don't work and we were like yeah but she was like oh but like I want to watch the baby and like I just want to stay in the house like I don't want to go anywhere but like we can we can spend two days at my house that is not the same thing. I love Hannah. I love her house. It's such a cute, cuddly, safe space. But, like, I'm not going to be here forever. Like, I don't plan to, like, make roots here. Like, after I finish, I don't know, a few months, well, a year and some change, like, after I'm a nurse and I feel established enough to move on somewhere else, like, I'm going to move on somewhere else. And it's not going to be as simple as, like, hey, let's take a girl's trip to Nashville. Like we're already all in the same place and we could easily go and do that. But I was so upset. I was so upset to the point that I made an obituary of our friendship because she didn't want to go on the girl's trip with the rest of us. So this is the obituary that I made of our friendship and loving memory of the friendship that we used to have. Yeah, so I made that and it was really funny. Like I was in tears crying like, it was hilarious. Um, anyway, so I do go to work tonight. I had every intention to take JoJo to daycare, but it's Saturday and they're only open from like eight to one on Saturday. And like, that's not enough good sleep time for me. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna wake up early -er, and go and take him to the park. Like maybe at like three, like three to five maybe. Um, so yeah, I think we'll do that. I don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight. Probably a public sandwich. I feel like a public sandwich is like a really a good way to go. Um, so yeah, welcome to this week's vlog. I am going to get in the shower and then I'll come back and I'll talk to y'all. All right, it's 3.11 and let me tell y'all why I am like furious right now. Okay, so y'all remember, okay, we need to give her a name. We're gonna call her Allison, the girl who like my roommate gave the key to, she like broke into my house, whatever, she's living here now, right? Allison brought it upon herself to rearrange our entire apartment without asking me anything. I go out to take Jojo out to go pee and I look into the living room. Everything is different. My lunchbox is moved, my water bottles are moved, the laundry stuff is moved, stuff in the living room is moved. She used my reusable Trader Joe's bag as a, mm, calm down, down. She used my reusable Trader Joe's bag as a trash can. Moved around JoJo's dog food, moved around my food and reorganized it. And, and like, I appreciate you doing like a little Sunday reset or whatever, because like, I don't have time to do it today. Well, it's not Sunday, it's Saturday, but you get what I'm saying? Like, I appreciate it, but don't come in here making changes and you're not even supposed to freaking be here i am like annoyed i'm annoyed because don't touch my stuff or if you're going to touch my stuff ask because my roommates that lived here before they asked me a hundred thousand million billion questions before they redid the living room and i'm like a very easy roommate i was like i don't care do your thing go crazy go wild go stupid i don't care whatever whatever you think it looks good looks great to me but like the fact that you're not even supposed to be here, you're not asking me, and you're making changes on top of that. And the changes don't look bad, I think they look good, but it's the fact that you came in and you're making changes and not consulting me, i.e. the person that lives here, i.e. the person that's name is on the lease. You haven't paid a single freaking bill here at all, but you took it upon yourself to rearrange stuff. Like. It just really pisses me off. It really, really, really pisses me off. I'm gonna try to calm down and not, you know, get too upset about it, but 
don't come into my house when you don't pay bills when you're not supposed to be here and start rearranging stuff and using my reusable Trader Joe's bag that I absolutely love as a freaking trash can. Furious. Furious. I'm so ready to live by myself so I don't have to deal with stupid stuff like this. Because I'm about to come into my house. <sighs> well, like, I'm really starting to get pissed off. So I took JoJo to the dog park and it was fine, but one of the dogs ended up, like, ramming into a fire hydrant they were a little puppy and they're just look very feisty very fast you know whatever they ended up running into the fire hydrant which was sad and like all you hear is like puppy scream so of course everybody gets up um jojo was like oblivious to the whole thing but then he saw like everybody was crowding around the dog so he like went to go and see what was going on and like try to get to the dog because like jojo's like very compassionate he wasn't like trying to be mean or like jump on the dog he just wanted to see because if you hear a dog crying like obviously your first instinct is to go over there some guy like mushed Jojo out of the way. That was the first thing that pissed me off. Well, really the second thing that pissed me off. First thing that pissed me off was freaking Martha Stewart wanted to rearrange stuff in my house and she don't, ooh, Jana, calm down. Rearrange stuff in my house and she don't live here. That was the first thing. Him pushing Jojo was the second thing. I wanted to kick him in the back of his head, <sighs> whatever. But I get it, heat of the moment, a dog's hurt. Like you don't know Jojo, so naturally you're gonna push him away, whatever. So after a little bit, Jojo and I leave and we come home. I get pissed off about the kitchen all over again. Um, and then I go to Publix and I really wanted a sandwich and some chips and a Coke just before I go to work. And I go in there and there's like a little bit of a line, but like it's fine. And then there's this older woman and I can already tell that she has a nasty attitude, but I try not to be upset about it because like I've worked in food service before and I know what it's like to be pissed off. I know what it's like to be pissed off. So I was trying to be as nice as I could. And she was like, what are you getting? Hey, I just like a turkey um, full size sandwich. What kind of bread? I made the mistake of saying Italian bread. Blows her freaking time. We don't have Italian bread. We don't have Italian bread. But first, like she she looked around like, hmm, 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 hmm. We don't have Italian bread. We don't have Italian bread. I was like, white bread will be just fine. Well, you didn't say white bread. You didn't say white bread, you said Italian bread. The white bread will be just fine, thank you so much. Th this is exactly how I'm talking to her. The white bread will be just fine, thank you so much. Um, she was like, what kind of meat? Turkey, that's what I said. I didn't ask if you wanted turkey, what kind of meat? The meat that I would like is called turkey. She's like, well, why don't you just say that? What kind of cheese do you want? White American, please. We don't have that. We only got this one. Okay, that one's just fine. And then at this point, some girl comes up to me and she's like, hey, like, I don't want you to think I'm weird, but like, I'll follow you on TikTok, whatever. whatever. Do you want it toasted? Do you want it toasted or not? Yes, ma'am, I would like it toasted, thank you. Puts it in the toaster, whatever. Sitting here having a sidebar with a girl, she was so beautiful. Sitting here talking to her, she was super sweet. We chopped it up for a second. And she's like, what do you want? What do you want? Like talking about my sandwich after it's toasted. Um, lettuce, mayo, and mustard, please. And she like puts the lettuce on and she's like holding the mayo bottle up like this and just squeezing it and looking me directly in my face. And she just, and I'm just like, what the, what, what are you doing? And she's just like squeezing, she's like, tell me when. I, I don't know how much you want, tell me when. That's fine, thank you so much. What else did you want? Um, spinach, please, and mustard, if you haven't already put it on. Again, does the same thing with the mustard. That's good, thank you so much. Whatever. What else did you want? Spinach, please, and that'd be perfect. Whatever, she starts putting it on, closing it. I was like, thank you, oh, you're welcome. The only reason that I did not blow my freaking top is because I don't, I'm not mean to people that make my food. She could turn around and spin farting in it. Don't want those problems. But it was just really annoying. And like, I'm already pissed off about Martha Stewart. And now like I went there and that pissed me off. And girl, but it is what it is. I mean, if she wants to be sad and miserable, be sad and miserable. I don't care. I don't care. But you need to start being nice to folks because what if I was crazy? What if I was crazy? and jump behind that counter and whoop you down relentlessly. Then what? Then what? I'm gonna be the one that's crazy? No, you need to stop having a freaking attitude, people. You never know what people are going through. 
Oh, that, oh, that pisses me off. Pisses me off. And the only reason I went in there and ordered instead of doing the mobile order was because the mobile order said it was going to take them an hour to make my sandwich. Girl, screw you. I'm not doing that. But now I'm at home. I'm about to drink my Diet Coke and have my sandwich and my... Sorry, I was so thirsty. And my chips. I'm going to show you which chips I got. I like these Cape Cod chips. I got the wavy kettle cooked chi chicks chips because those are my fave. So I'm going to eat these and then we're going to get ready for work, which is not going to take us long to get ready for work because I already took a shower. All right, y'all, it is time for me to go to work. I'll see y'all in the morning, bye. Good morning, I don't know what time it is. Okay, it is Sunday, June 4th at 8, 12 in the morning. I usually don't ever talk to y'all like me freshly, freshly out of the shower, but I am freshly, freshly out of the shower. Um, I got off work and I went to work last night. Last night was interesting. Hannah was not charge nurse. And so we ended up having a patient randomly and I say randomly like they were not already like at the hospital when we got there but they were the sweetest little family and I loved them and I thought they were just so sweet and they were so kind and I just like really enjoyed having them I really really did um and yeah the labor was like awesome the baby was super super cute um and yeah like overall it was really good when I was at work like mid at work I realized how bad my eyebrows are are y'all seeing this so bad we're gonna have like this vlog is also gonna end up being like a maintenance day because i swear every time i get off work i have the strongest southern accent maybe not the strongest but like it's so thick we're gonna end up having a maintenance day like diana talk i just can't i just can't anyway oh my gosh y'all i literally cannot shut up about this product it's probably almost gone i don't even want to think about it i don't even want to think about it if it's almost gone but this is the skincare product, so I can show y'all. It's the, oh my God, look how bad my manicure is. Again, maintenance day. Um, the Alia Beauty, I'm trying to read it. Uh, whatever, it's a priming skin serum and I love it. I love it. It makes my skin so soft immediately and it's perfect. I feel like I've never showed you my skincare routine, so I use that. And then I'm using the Ultra Repair Hydro Firm Night Cream by First Aid Beauty. See, First Aid Beauty. This is what it looks like if you want to get it. It's really small, but a little bit goes a long way. I usually just like kind of dig my knuckle into it and go on these few spots. And like, that's literally perfect. Literally perfect. Um, but we don't go to, I have to. My tattoo is in such like a weird place to the point where like if it rubs against something, it feels weird. It's like sore a little bit, which is odd, but anyway we don't go to work tonight so that's good but we do work monday tuesday wednesday so i literally get one day off which is fine because i'm about to have multiple days off because we are going to the beach we're going to seattle we're going to portland we're going back to seattle i'm coming back to tuscaloosa just to turn around and go to disney world so it's gonna be okay i don't mind working i don't mind working if i get to to have fun and like part of me like i sometimes feel bad about like spending money on like taking trips but like money comes back you know what i mean like like money it comes back hold on let me get my uh what is it called aquifer anyways like i was saying like money comes back but the memories from trips can literally last forever so i feel like it's just really important sorry i, I don't like like applying aquifer to what no it's okay it's okay no him can stay Ugh, he yawned and i looked at him and he was like whoa time for me to go um i don't like my lips being super wet when i put on chapstick because i feel like it doesn't absorb as good or like i can't tell what harder our lips need aquifer anyway um but yeah like especially like with me vlogging like these memories will literally last forever so i feel like it's just really important to just go ahead and take the trip spend the money do the things because money is going to come back it always comes back so just take the freaking trip period um i'm gonna put some of this aquaphor on my tattoo um i don't have 
the ick as bad as I did yesterday about touching it, it hurts. Y'all, is it supposed to hurt? It's like sore. I mean, yes, I feel like it's supposed to be sore because like there was a needle being driven into my skin. But like, dang, I'm trying to get over having the ick about it just because like, but like my tattoo hasn't gotten to the point where like it's peeling or it's itchy or anything like that. Like it's not doing that. It's sore. Like some parts are still a little bit red. Like the semicolon is a little bit red. The E is red and the I is red, but that's it. I don't know why. I think it's weird, but okay. So I booked an appointment to get a Brazilian wax. We were supposed to be getting a Brazilian wax on Friday, but I was like watching TikToks on like the do's and don'ts of getting your first Brazilian wax. And one of them was like, don't go right before or right after your period, because I guess like you're just really sensitive down there. Um, and I looked at my cycle tracker um, and it says that my period is supposed to come on on like Monday or Tuesday. I think, I think Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken. My last two periods have only been three days long. Hopefully this one is also only three days long um, because I'm going to the beach and I don't want to have to be putting on a tampon because I've never put on a tampon before. I know some of y'all are going to be like, Jana, what are you saying you've never put on a tampon? I just haven't. Like I just always grew up like wearing pads. My younger sister wears, or wears, uses. My younger sister uses tampons and she likes them way better than pads. And I feel like I too would like, what the heck is that? <gasps> Oh my gosh, I have a pimple under my arm from shaving. Oh no. I was gonna say y'all wanna see it, but I probably don't. I'm not gonna show y'all that. Um, oh no, I was doing kind of a hack job when I shaved this last time, so that's on me, that's on me, that's on me. I'm being very scandalous with this towel because if it drops, I'm a hollow. Oh, but anyway, um, I was supposed to get a uh, Brazilian wax on Friday, but like I guess I can't because my period is supposed to come on. But I do want to get one. Um, I read the reviews for this one girl, and people said that she's super, super good. I also don't want to get wax like outside, like not outside of somebody's house. I, I mean, I don't want to get wax outside of somebody's house, but I don't want to get waxed at somebody's house because I feel like I don't know what's in your air. You know what I mean? Like I'm. I'm I don't really know what you got going on, but somebody at like a well-established shop, I feel like I'm okay with doing that. So I feel like that's what we're going to end up doing. Okay. I also went to McDonald's after I got off work. Oh, also the Brazilian box is $65, which I feel like is not bad. But anyway, after I got off work, I went to McDonald's. So let me put clothes on and I'll pick y'all back up. All right. It is 8.33. Technically, I was supposed to be asleep 33 minutes ago, but I don't work tonight. So I don't have to be as strict um with my bedtime schedule sorry my ankle is itching if you can see my cover move i'm trying to scratch it um excuse me the plan for today is to get up and take j-o-j-o -O to the p-a-r-k i really feel like he can he can spell words and i feel like he still knows what i'm saying um but take them there and then go and run i either want to run for one hour or five miles I do not know which one um I'm trying not to think about it because when I think about it I get stressed out about it and I don't want to be stressed out about it because it's fun so I tell myself um but I just had my McDonald's it's so freaking good the sausage biscuit with the strawberry jelly and the hash browns and the diet coke like all of it is so perfect and I love it and I, I could eat it every single day for breakfast like it's so freaking good um, but I'm about to go to sleep and I will see y'all when I get up. Bye. All right, hi friends. So the goal was to wake up at 2 p.m. and take J.O.J.O. to the P.A.R.K. But he's looking at me like, why are we not where we're supposed to be? Um, but I ended up sleeping a little bit longer because I was tired um, and I have to literally turn around and go to work tomorrow. But I know that one thing that I definitely want to do today is that I want to go for a run, especially since I know that my period is going to come on this week and I'm not going to feel like it later. Um, so we are going to go ahead and do that. I don't know why I have so much nervous energy and anxiety surrounding going running today. I feel like part of it is because of the distance because I do want to go five miles and five miles is a long time. Five miles was on my bucket list because I thought that it was something that I would never be able to do and here I am about to try to do it my legs are also a little bit sore from my leg day that I had like literally two days ago um but I do have a massage gun so that we can fix that um I don't know I just have a lot of nervous energy while I was drinking that diet coke it was good because it was disgusting 
Um, so yeah, I am gonna get dressed. I have a really super cute outfit that I'm gonna wear, so I don't know why I'm not like more excited, but I also don't know where I want to run. There's this one location that I wanna run at, but I ran at this location the first time that I did my first 5K, and my mile time was horrible. It was like 16 minutes, like I was barely running. Like, I, I was like walking, honestly. Um, and now I'm just like nervous. Like I have so much nervous energy. And like every time I run this particular trail, I'm always like, just like tired. Like I just, I get so tired and I start focusing so much on the distance. But I will say I've never done a guided run at this trail. So maybe it'll be a little bit different. I don't know. But I think I just have to get dressed and see. Um, the sun doesn't go down until probably like 7.30, 8 o'clock. Let's see. It's 90 degrees. Yeah, why is it supposed to rain at pop clock? Still going, but 36% humidity. The sun goes down at 7.55, so it's plenty of time. Um, it said that it would take me an hour and 11 minutes based on like my current mile times, or my average mile times to run a mile. So then that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna go ahead and go in the Nike Run Club app and download the five mile guided run. <laughs> okay, so I am dressed to go on my five mile run. It is five o'clock on the dot, so we gotta get going. This top and bottom set is from the Target Athletic section. My Nike hat, and then, oh, 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 ow, that hurts so bad. Ah, ow, that hurt. Okay, and I'm wearing my Hoka by my eights, which are the last shoes that I ran on my 5K, my four mile run, and now my five mile run. Now they're my lucky running shoes. Um, so yeah, let's go. I'm okay, so it's raining a little bit, which I'm not really too upset about. Okay, so y'all know, what did we call that girl yesterday? Susan, Catherine, Catherine, and Mary. What the heck did we call the girl that is like living in my house now? What, what do we call her? I don't remember. Let's call her Susan because I can't remember her last name. But Susan was throwing stuff away. And she threw away some of my stuff and then asked me about it. And I thought she threw away my pre-workout. This is the pre-workout that I use, by the way. It's the Alani New Blue Slush, and it's so freaking good. But I thought that she threw my new pre-workout away that I literally have only had three scoops of. I was about to beat her down. It was about to be a serious, a serious altercation. But she didn't. She just misplaced her. Which is really annoying. Y'all, I'm so ready to live by myself. And, like, I like her as a person, but not as a roommate. Like, I just don't want nobody living in my house. And not, like, I, I don't want nobody living in my house because, like, I had roommates and I love my roommates. But, like, I wasn't prepared for you to be living in my house. So, like, I, I don't want you there. But it's whatever I'm about to be traveling. I kind of got to poop a little bit, but I think I'm just nervous. I think I'm just nervous. And I think it's going to pass. I'm listening to a guided run. I'm taking a new route today. I'm really excited about this new route. It's kind of raining a little bit, so that adds a little bit of, of element. Um, and yeah, ooh, maybe I should think about, maybe I should think about, um, what am I going to eat tonight? I would love, ooh, that sounds good. I would love a burrito bowl. So I think I'm going to go to Target and get all the stuff that I need to make a burrito bowl. Because those are so freaking good. I just need the queso, the black beans, the corn. I think I have shredded cheese at home. And let's see it. So yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna have a breathable. I feel like that'll make you feel really good. But I'm gonna eat a little snack before I go out. So I have a little bit of something on my stomach. This is what I'm gonna eat for my running snack. It's the Quaker Oats Q Kiwi? Quaker Oats Chewy Chocolate Chip Granola Bar. And I love these. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna go for my run and I'll see y'all when I get back. Wish me luck, I'm so scared! I'm going to do my best to not cry on camera because I think that's so cringy and weird, but um, it is seven o'clock, literally just turned seven o'clock right now. Um, I was not able to run the five miles. Let's start with that. Um, the first mile I felt like okay like my mile time was a little bit longer than normal but I felt like that was okay just because like I was running longer than usual and then I got to the second mile and like at that point mentally I had given up like I I just don't know what happened to me like I I just gave up on myself mentally I literally just it's like my legs were not even moving this is genuinely like the worst run that I've ever had and I'm just so I'm just upset and I feel like I'm a failure and I feel like I'll 
and this is dramatic but like i feel like i'll never be able to reach my fitness goals because like i am not able to like push myself and just like all this stupid stuff all this stupid stuff um yeah i like i was literally running and i burst into tears which i have never ever ever done that before and i'm just so frustrated i'm so frustrated but i am somebody that believes that every delay is to your advantage so like maybe the reason that i could not run today was because like my guardian angels were looking out for me and i was not meant to run like maybe my safety would have been compromised like had i kept running the route that i was running because i would have been at this exact place at this exact time and it just would not have turned out good for me i'm trying to think about it like that i also think my period is about to start because i feel so weird i also worked a 12 hour night shift last night i woke up earlier so i didn't get as much sleep and i didn't really eat before my run like just so many things and i hate to make excuses i hate to make excuses because you either did it or you didn't do it and i didn't do it i didn't do it and like i i hate i hate i hate i hate i hate that as soon as i realized that like i couldn't finish that i didn't finish my first thought was you don't deserve to eat if, if you can't run five miles you don't deserve to eat and that is so i'm trying to calm down that is so horrible because that is not okay that's not i'm acknowledging that i had that thought but i'm gonna let it pass and i'm gonna let it go away because i deserve to eat i just like whether or not i finish the stupid five miles or not i still deserve to eat i ended up running like two and a half and then like walking back like i still did five miles today because i no i don't think i ran two miles back or not ran but walked two miles back like one mile and some change but like i still like got up and i moved my body and it's important that when i got out of this car i had every intent to run five miles and that counts for something again my body probably just wasn't ready for it, or maybe like something bad could have happened to me had i kept running the route that i was gonna run so like it is okay and there will be other days there will be other days i'm literally dripping in sweat can y'all see this like i'm so i was also so like dehydrated well, i guess i'm not super dehydrated from sweating but <sighs> yeah i'm just like upset so i think i just like need a moment to myself for a second i also just tried to post a tiktok of my run today and it, like i don't want this to sound the way that it's about to sound but i have 250,000 followers on tiktok right video's been up for five minutes zero views it's it's no like i feel like i'm just getting overwhelmed and i'm just getting really frustrated and i don't know why tiktok decides to play with me all of a sudden but whatever maybe i just don't need to get on social media for the rest of the day i think that's maybe just what i need because i'm just so hmm. having a hard day today Okay, so I think I have recovered a little bit um, from being so upset about my run today because it's done, it's over, all I can do is try again tomorrow. It's okay to be upset, it's okay to feel off my feelings, but all I can do is try again tomorrow. Also, I posted that TikTok and it got 20 views in one hour and zero likes, so I know that TikTok is hiding my content, um, but I can, I not I can, but I should only focus on things that I'm able to control, and the only things I can control right now is like maybe just taking a break from my phone for a little while and just doing a little bit of self-care for me like i told y'all my feet are so ugly so ugly right now like they are cracked to the high heavens they look so bad calluses like i'm talking about deep cracks in my feet i would show y'all but it's a little bit scary so um i am going to do a little bit of a pedicure i got this little set from target it has like the couch remover the pumice stone and it says like the stuff on the back too um this is the nail brush the cuticle pusher i guess and then the toenail clipper we'll be using all of that because i'm going to the beach and of course i'm going to be having my feet out um and they just need to look a little bit better than they do also tomorrow we need to go and get our eyebrows waxed and not our nails done yet i think we'll maybe get our nails done on thursday um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna like sit in the tub, I'm gonna read on my Kindle, not scroll through social media because social media is kind of like a sore spot for me right now, but I'm gonna do this and I'll let y'all know how I feel after. I would love to take y'all with me, but you know what I mean. Anyway, so I'll be back after I finish. Alright, hi friends, it is 
10 10 p.m. Sorry, military time literally still gets me every time. Um, I kind of broke down like after I stopped recording the last clip and I just kind of had to cry it out for a little bit. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better now. I know that I am so upset. It like my what am I even saying? Me being so upset is heavily influenced by the fact that my period is probably going to start in the morning. And so like my emotions are kind of, you know, all out of whack, but I don't want to use that to disregard the fact that even if I am going to have my period, like my feelings are so valid. I just know that the intensity to which I'm feeling my feelings is due to my period. But literally the only thing I can do is get up tomorrow and be better. That's literally all I have to do. Um, and I know I made that comment earlier about how I felt like I don't deserve to eat. So I made sure to make um, my favorite meal. Um, this is pretty much like a chipotle bowl. It has rice, ground turkey, spicy queso, lettuce, and shredded cheese, and it's really good, and it makes me really happy to eat it. Um, and then I also have my, I know you can't see it in here, but it's the Island Lemonade, I think, by Calypso from Target. They were still on sale for a dollar, which was awesome. So I'm going to eat this, and then I'm going to watch Queer Eye, and then I'll come back and give you all an update. All right, it's 1.30 in the morning. I was all that really necessary anyway um i ate my food it was really good i had some cookies i had some water did a little bit of a nap right for a little bit and now i think i'm just gonna go to sleep for the rest of the night um jojo is gonna sleep in my bed and tomorrow we're gonna get up and take him to d-a-y-c-a-r-e and we're gonna try to run again i'll see y'all in the morning good morning y'all it is monday june 5th at 9 5 in the morning I slept like absolute garbage last night. Like I did not sleep good at all. Even taking two melatonin, I still did not sleep good. Um, I only took like an hour nap and usually after that, like I'm good and I can, you know, sleep still, but I wasn't able to sleep at all. And then my stomach started hurting. So I knew that I was gonna start my period, like probably when I got up. Um, when I went to the bathroom this morning and I wiped, this is so like, TMI but there's like a little bit but like it hasn't started started yet um so I'm getting ahead of the problem because it's, because it's easier to stay on top of the pain than it is to catch up to the pain so I'm taking two ibuprofen this is two 200 milligram ibuprofen so 400 milligrams of ibuprofen with a little bit of apple juice one time I had a polynidal cyst if you ever had one of those, bro, let me tell you, let me tell you about it. Have I already told her this story? I don't think so, because it's embarrassing. Okay, so I changed my major to nursing November 4th of 2019. The next semester in spring of 2020, I was taking like all my nursing centered, like pre-nursing center classes. So I was taking chemistry, organic chemistry. And I would sit for hours and hours on and hours on like this hard wooden chair in my dorm room and i wouldn't get up i would just sit and i would study still fill the class anyway um that class was just hard the teacher was just like not good and i didn't understand and i literally sat in the freaking front row and i went to like all the tutoring sessions just like okay I'm did not mesh well with my brain um and i was also like not used to studying for a for real and that was like my first ever like class where i had to try so i was like uh what the heck is this anyway so one day i had like a pimple between my butt cheeks and i was like Mm, that's weird but like it'll probably go away you know kept studying kept sitting whatever whatever it got bigger and bigger and bigger i had just started my job at plato's closet and at that job you have to dress up which is stupid but like you have to dress up basically and we could pretty much like only wear jeans and so like of course i have this pimple in my butt cheeks and now i'm having to wear jeans which is compressing it which is making it hurt worse um, so like day by day, it gets worse and worse and worse. Like I can't sit down, it hurts to stand up, it hurts to walk, it hurts to do anything. And so I tell them that I broke my tailbone. And they're like, oh, poor girl. Like y'all, I was carrying around a bobby pillow because it hurts so dang bad. Anyway, days and days and days go by. I'm still hurting. The thing's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, and then it gets to the point where I can't sleep. Like, I can't sleep, I can't eat, I can't do anything because I'm, like, writhing in pain constantly. So it's okay, bro, whatever. Like, I'm, I'm just going to go to 
the doctor and I was embarrassed because like it's a pimple in my butt she's like I want to go to the doctor but go to the doctor she's like oh like you have polyanalysis like from sitting down and like I guess when you sit down like dirt I guess and hair get pushed back up like into the follicle and your body recognizes it as like a foreign object or whatever and so pus surrounds it and it gets bigger and it hurts really bad so of course she like spreads my butt cheeks on this table and she's like pushing down on it and I'm like Ooh, this is horrible um and then she gives me a shot I can't remember if she gives me a shot in the pimple or my butt I think it was just my butt that suck a burn and it burns so freaking bad <coughs> it burns so freaking bad Oh, I forgot to eat my corn and my black beans. That's why my bowl tasted weird last night. I knew I forgot something. Random thought. Anyway. Um. And so, yeah. She told me I had a polynosis. She gave me some back citrum. I think that's how you say it. And, like, literally the next day, I think I was starting to feel a little bit better. But I was in the tub. I think, like, that night or something. I was in the tub because I heard that warm water helped so I was in the tub and I was just crying and crying and crying and I called my mama and I was just crying 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 I was like bro this this thing hurt it hurt bad but anyway she said that one of our like family friends used to get them all the time and there's like this black salve I don't know how to say that word but it's stinky and it's black and you're supposed to like rub it on it and it's supposed to like draw the pus out or draw the hair follicle out or draw something out I don't know I think I still have it somewhere but it's like an orange little container and so one night well first before i even went to the doctor i put icy hot on it don't ever put icy hot in your butt crack it was horrible my butt cracks on fire anyway um but yeah so i put this little black sticky tarry stuff on it and i went to go and lay down now usually when i lay down and i go to sleep i have to lay on my stomach obviously if i like move like even like that would hurt and it would send like shock waves of pain so i was laying on my stomach and i was sleeping and I remember I was like waking up and I moved my leg and it didn't hurt. And I was like, what? That didn't hurt. So I moved it again a little bit more. It still didn't hurt. I was like, oh my gosh, like did this pop? So I get up and go to the bathroom and I can walk. And I was like, what? I'm still limping, but I can walk and it's not as painful. Pain is like maybe a three out of four besides being like an eight or nine. So I go to the bathroom and I sit down on the toilet and I like wipe it. The worst smell I have ever smelled in my life. It was horrid, horrid. And it was like black and brown, just nastiness that came out of this thing. And I was like, oh, that was nasty. But it was draining. It was draining finally and um yeah i was still limping a little bit but i could walk and i felt so much better and literally the next day the pandemic hit <laughs> oh, oh, oh. so yeah i was able to quit my job well no because at my job they were like um the manager i freaking hate her what was her name i'm gonna tell it what was her name what was her name it was started with like a C or something. Huh. She was a nursing major, but I don't think she made it out. Kari? I think her name was Kari. Yeah, she was she was me. She was a mean old witch. And she was only like a year older than me. Anyway. She was like, Yeah, I know the pandemic started, but I'm gonna talk and first of all, like I was already at the time, so like we had to move out of the dorms. So I was like, I'm not gonna like I don't have anywhere to live in Tuscaloosa because I'm not from here. And she's like, yeah, I'm going to contact your dorm so you'll still be able to stay there so you can still come to work. That's The pandemic is not an excuse. And this was like the very early stages of the pandemic where like we didn't know if we were like, like what the heck was about to happen. And I was like, um, girl, you crazy as heck. You're crazy. Um, so I ended up like telling them bye. Like I, I quit. Like I'm going back to Tuscaloosa. They ended up still paying me like $200 for like every two weeks for like a month. Um... And then they're like, well, if you don't come back, like, you're not a part of the store. And I was like, I'm not coming back. You can forget it. Because I hated that job. That job was horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. They treated me so bad. 
And, like, the store manager at the time, he told me, he was like, you let me know if, like, the girls are mean to you or whatever. And they were. They were indeed very mean to me. Most people were nice except for Kari. Kari was the only person that was just, like, very rude, very nasty, very mean, and treated me like absolute garbage the entire time. Like, one time I wore, like, some cute, like, jogger-style pants, and she pulled me to the side and said that, like, I wasn't dressed appropriately and don't ever do it again. Girl, I have a head growing out of my butt right now. Like, I, I can't wear whatever. So yeah, that's my little embarrassing story of the day. Um, I was gonna go and run today, but I think today I just need to like let my body rest because I do have to go to work today. Um, and yeah, running is gonna be there. Like when my period is off, running is gonna be there, so it's gonna be fun. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna be resting today. I have to also go and get my eyebrows waxed, so we'll do stuff, but I'm just gonna rest for right now. Okay, obviously I'm trying to sleep before my night shift tonight. And Martha Stewart is in here banging the pots and pans against the sink for the past 20 minutes with a TV volume on 9,000. How on earth do you move into somebody's home and start being disruptive? But that's okay. Because when I leave for work tonight, I'm going to turn my TV volume all the way up. And I'm going to find a loop of pots and pans banging and I'm going to leave it on until I come back home at 8 o'clock in the morning to can play that game. Do, like, do not disrupt my sleep. Do, do not disrupt my sleep. Do y'all hear a loud to do? Like, why, why is the TV up to sleep? I'm really starting to lose my patience with them. And if they don't stop, I'm going to end up going off on them. Because there's no way that you live in my house for free. Unbeknownst to me first, like you didn't even freaking ask me, you just moved into it. <sighs> Calm down, John. You just moved in, and now you're being loud when I'm trying to sleep. Disrupting the one person in my house that does pay bills. You finna get out. Like, I'm not gonna be dealing with this for another month. Don't. <sighs> I'm gonna lose my cool. Okay, so we are going to try another run again today. It is 3 o'clock on the dot on Monday, June the 5th. How is it already June the 5th? June is like flying by. Anyway, so I'm wearing this hat that says Female Powerhouse. Can y'all see that? Um, a small business sent it to my P.O. box. Thank you so much. Um, and then I'm wearing this Buff Bunny sports bra. This is what it looks like in the back. And then I'm just wearing some black shorts. And then for running shoes, we're wearing the Hoka Bondi 8s that Hoka sent me. Still can't believe that. Okay, um, today I think the goal is just to run three miles. I feel like that should be easy enough. Um, and it'll get that other bad run taste out of my mouth. I literally almost did three miles yesterday, so this should be a piece of cake. No big deal. Um, okay, let's go. Wish me luck. All right, y'all. I'm at my running spot of the day. Y'all, like, just missed it, but a huge roll of thunder just came through. It's supposed to be raining right now. Um, still gonna go. But if it gets to like the torrential downpoury thing, we're gonna stop. So now like I don't know how many miles we're gonna run today. We're just gonna do the best we can. Y'all, when I tell you I did not sweat my entire, look at my face, look at my face. I, look, y'all, I am not somebody that usually sweats. So this is like insane for me. But I ran my 5K in 40 minutes and 48 seconds. I had an average pace of 13 minutes and seven seconds. I shaved off on my last 5K time by six minutes. Who do I think I am? A little bit of vengeance, a little bit of rain, power up, right? Power up. I feel so freaking good. The guided run and the Nike Run Club app was awesome. Um, the rain was good. I just like the playlist was hitting like everything was perfect. Yo! I, I guess this is like my post run is high. Like I'm just literally losing my mind. But I need to go home. I was gonna go to um get my eyebrows waxed really quick because y'all atrocious, atrocious. Um, my armpits are shaved. I was gonna say I want to see him. Are we that close in friends? But anyway, um, uh, first of all, my period is on, and I just ran three miles. I just not even three miles. I ran three point one zero miles. Period. Um, like who do I think I am? Who do I think I am? I'm a cloud nine. I'm feeling so good. I'm feeling so good. This sweat is dripping off my body. But I'm not gonna go and get my eyebrows done right now. I need to go home and take a shower because I can't be sitting in somebody's chair like this. Baby, period. Um, okay, but I'm gonna go. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go because I stank. All right, y'all. My camera is literally about to die, but it is 4:57. <coughs> what the heck is going on with me? Hold on. 
Okay, like I said, it's 4.57. I decided to randomly just wash my hair. So I am going to throw my hair up in a bun. It's literally being deep conditioned right now, but I'm gonna throw my hair up in a bun and we're gonna go and we're gonna get our eyebrows waxed. Ooh, y'all look at the curls, look at the curls. They're curling, they're curling, they're giving. This side is always my better side, but period. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I know y'all can barely see because my camera's charging and the cord for my charger is very, very short. Um, my stomach hurt just a little bit, but I, I was about to lift up my sweatshirt. I was gonna say, I ain't got no bra on under this sweatshirt, but it's okay. And then I'm wearing these pink sweatpants and then my Crocs. And we're about to go get my eyebrows waxed. I'll probably just film on my phone because I still want to try to see, so I'll be back. Okay, so I am back from getting my eyebrows done. This is what they look like. Literally looks so much better. I'm gonna put my hair in a braided ponytail and then I'll be right back. Okay y'all, so it is 6.32. I am already running so late to work, <clears throat> but the vlog is a priority, right? Me and you are girls, we're a priority. I'm starting to get really nervous about this tattoo because let me show you. Can y'all see that like the E is almost gone? Like you can't even see it. Where it says every moment, like the E in moment, it looks like it's gone. Y'all, what am I supposed to do? I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out, but anyway. See how scary y'all look? That's why I'd be so afraid to bring y'all in public. I still do bring y'all in public and I'm trying to get better about it. But anyway, I'll see y'all when I get off work. Bye. All right, y'all. Good morning. It is Tuesday, June the 6th at 7.50 in the morning. I have dropped Jojo off at daycare. I wasn't going to drop him off at daycare today, but I decided that I really wanted to sleep because I am on my period in full force and I just need to be able to just rest and relax, especially since I'm not going to the gym today. Not very ready today, so I think it's really important that I just go to sleep. Um, okay, so let's talk about last night's shift. Uh, it was pretty cool. It was me, Hannah, Zaria, Julia, and Summer. And we had a really good time. Like, we were able to, like, talk and, like, everybody got to know each other a little bit better. Um, and, of course, we laughed and joked, like always. Um, Hannah was in charge, and so we had a lot of triages that we dealt with. Okay, I want to say this. I know that <clears throat> for a lot of people, going to the hospital is really scary. For a lot of people, being pregnant and having to come in because you think that something is wrong with you or wrong with baby, that's scary. That's okay. It's okay to be scared. It's okay to be nervous. It's okay to feel all those feelings. I have absolutely no problem with that. But something that I've learned like working in the hospital, especially like on the labor and delivery unit, is that sometimes people will take their anger and frustration and confusion about a situation out on you even if it had nothing to do with you and they will just treat you just in a very nasty in a very rude way and you kind of have to learn how to like let it kind of roll off your back and just kind of like not ignore them but like not take it personally and I'm somebody that takes everything personally like I'm somebody that like analyzes text messages like do you usually put emojis and now you put a period do you usually put two exclamation points and now you only put one like stuff like that like I take very very seriously so especially me being like a very empathetic person like it's I'm a people person and so like when I can tell that there's a shift in the atmosphere, it affects me heavily. Anyway, but I understand that people like sometimes lash out on healthcare professionals because when they're in a stressful situation, you kind of learn how your parents cope with things is how <clears throat> inevitably like how you learn to cope with things. So if, when your parents are stressed, they express their stress by like taking it out on you as a child and yelling and screaming and being rude to you or other people. That's kind of how you're going to handle your stress. You're going to take your anger out on other people. You're going to take that confusion, that anxiety out on other people. And that's what happens a lot on the labor and delivery unit. And it's been happening to me a lot more recently than I would care for. But I just try to remember, like, this person thinks that something is wrong with them. Or they think that something is wrong with their baby. And this is a scary situation. And they probably watched videos and looked up everything. And they're just scared and they're confused. And that's okay. It's not okay to not be nice to people. Um, it's not okay to take your anger, your anxiety, and confusion out on other people, but I just know that a lot of people don't have healthy coping mechanisms, and I'm not going to be able to fix this person, like, in one day, and it's not my job to fix anybody. Um, but it's just something that happens, and I just wanted to bring light and to bring awareness to it, and I hope that even though I know this is something that's going to continue to happen, that I can learn to not be jaded in the process or learn to be cold in the process. Also, there were some students from the local college there that were, I guess, doing a rotational labor and delivery unit. And one of the one of the nursing students said that she doesn't care for patients. And she was like, yeah, I actually work in this hospital on this floor. Okay, let me make sure to never, ever, 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 ever send my friends, my family, my loved ones onto that floor if you don't care if they. Like, 
you should be a nurse if you don't care and I understand she was probably trying to say it from like a detached kind of way because if you work on a hospital floor where there's a high turnover rate for lack of better words then you kind of have to develop like a kind of like a dissociation kind of thing um but saying that you don't care about the outcome of your patient is weird and it's crazy and you can tell that she thought that like she was a know-it-all because another nursing student came up and mind you y'all she just got on this floor today like the nursing student that i'm talking about we'll call them nursing student a nursing student a literally just got on this nursing unit and she ended up being with hannah and i was like okay whatever like go for it because i'm usually with hannah if y'all know that um and then nursing student A said the nursing student B, oh, you don't know how to read a strip? Like, let me show you. Like, you've never seen how to, like, a monitor? Like, let me show you. Something like that. So she goes into a patient's room, which, I mean, ass. Like, don't just be ra bringing random. I hate that. Like, don't be bringing random people into a patient's room. Like, it's weird. It's weird. Anyway. Um, and I guess from what I was told, like, she was in there trying to, like, read the monitor strip, but she was reading it incorrectly. And you can just tell like she's one of those nursing students that thinks that she knows everything and that she's better than everybody in every single way possible and it's annoying and i'm so ready to be out of nursing school because nursing school is filled with people like that it's filled with people that are catty that are mean that are nasty that are vindictive and like if you're going into nursing school i pray that you find your friend group and i pray that you find it quickly and i pray that you have clarity of heart clarity of mind clarity of like your spirit your soul and their spirit and their soul just so that you don't run into like any mishaps any people because everybody who's friendly is not your friend and i'll continue to say that over and over and over again and i learned that the hard way in nursing school because people would ask me like oh Gianna, like how are you studying what are you studying what are you studying can i use your quizlet can i do this can i do this can i do that and like i would give up this information about like how i did the test and how i'm studying and like when i started studying and like blah blah, blah. But I found that they were like running back to other people and like telling them like, oh, Diana thinks she's doing this and Diana's doing that. And she thinks she's so much better than everybody else. And, you know, rah, rah, rah. And they were like using me as a benchmark to compare. I don't like that. I was telling you my grades because like I thought we were not friends, but like we could be cordial. Like we could be cool. We could kick it, you know what I mean? Not kick it like outside of nursing school, but like kick it and be like, uh, you know, hey, bye, you know, whatever in class. And I'm really glad that these people will not be graduating with me in the fall because they're in the summer because I just really didn't like them. And they were just very mean, nasty, vile people. And I blocked them on my Instagram. And I wish there was a way that I could block them on YouTube too. Because they would like go to my page and like there was this one girl, she meant to like, you know the feature on Instagram, I don't know why I'm so chatty this morning, but you know the feature on Instagram where like you can, like if I see a post on Instagram like on my feed, I can send that post to somebody else, right? This girl sent a post that I posted to me and it was this long paragraph about like how much she hated me, how like everybody else in my nursing school hated me, how I think I'm all that because like I'm on Instagram, I'm on TikTok, like I do brand deals and blah, blah, blah. How I think I'm smarter than everybody else, better than everybody else, whatever. It was like this whole thing about how much she hated me, right? Mind you, we're sitting in class, she's sitting right next to me and she said this. And I made sure that my scene, like my red receipts were on and she saw that I read it ghostly. Ghostly in the face, she was so embarrassed. And I didn't even say anything. I just liked the message. Because you look stupid. Now you look stupid. Why do I feel like I hear an Ivy pump going off? That's crazy. Um, but yeah, like people, like I just haven't had a very good experience at, like in nursing school. And I'm just ready for it to be over. Not to say that like I haven't had good experiences in nursing school. Because my clinical group for third semester, heart eyes, heart eyes. Like they were amazing, amazing, amazing people. But like some people in nursing school are just not nice. They're not nice and they're evil and they're vindictive and most of the time they're into things like cardiac. I don't know why, but I've never had a good experience with cardiac nurses. Like they're always so freaking mean. Or like nursing students that are really obsessed with cardiac. Mm, some are right, some are more wrinkly. Cause for some reason, and I'm not saying all, but like in my experience, the people that are really like into cardiac are some of the meanest people that I've ever met in nursing. I don't know why. The labor and delivery girls, we're slaying, we're nice, but mm. I don't know. They might ruffle a few feathers. I really don't care. But just in my experience, like the people that are super interested in cardiac, especially from my experience in nursing school, not been very nice people. Anyway, I'm gonna stop chattering and I'm gonna get in the shower. My period has been hurting so bad tonight. Like I was literally bouncing on a birthing ball because it was like helping with the pressure and the pain. Um, but yeah, I'm about to get in the shower and I'll be back. Obviously, I'm chatty Kathy this morning. Alrighty, so it is 8:19. I'm getting ready to eat my breakfast. This is the breakfast that I got at the hospital. Our hospital has the best food. 
so freaking good now what some of the patients on the other like med surge floors get is different from like what they serve in the cafeteria for like all people anyway so i got some cheesy eggs i actually like their eggs they're pretty good um i got two of the connected sausage links i got a biscuit i got some grits and i also have a diet coke i don't mind eating all of this just because i know i'm about to go into hibernation for um the next eight or nine hours and i need food in my body so i don't feel bad about it also i didn't even realize that i finished all the episodes of queer eye how horrible is that i thought i had so many more episodes left and i do not but anyway so i'm gonna eat my food and then i'm gonna go to sleep and i will see y'all when i get up bye all right hey y'all so it is 5 23 i, I kind of can't tell because my watch face like it's it's kind of hard to see Anyway, um, I am getting dressed for work. I feel like for so much of this vlog, I've been at work. Like I worked Friday, Saturday. I was off Sunday, but then I work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then I'm off on Friday and we're going to the beach on Saturday. Well, no, we're driving down to Mobile on Saturday and then we're going to the beach on Sunday. I actually, I don't know. I feel like that itinerary is so, so wrong, but um, I know that I work Thursday and I know that I'm going to Mobile Friday. Oh, so I guess I'm going to the beach on Saturday. Um, we're going to Panama, y'all. I'm so excited. I have never been to Panama before and I feel like it'll be just such a fun and cool experience. Um, when I went to sleep, like I literally went to sleep as soon as I closed my eyes. Like it was, it was awesome and it was such good sleep and I'm so happy about it. Um, but... Martha Stewart. Is that what we're calling them? I feel like that's what we're calling them. Martha Stewart. I mean, be quiet because like her thing is right there. But she came in. She knocked on my door and I was like, yeah. And she was like, can I talk to you? Yeah, go ahead. And like she didn't say anything. And I was like, yes, go ahead. And she was like, oh, well, like my shower head won't like, do you know how to take it off? First of all, why are you? reorganizing this girl's room because mind you this is not the room she's gonna be staying in whenever like her lease starts she's gonna be staying in my room so why are you tearing up this girl's shower head and it's not even your actual room and i was like yeah um i don't know you can call maintenance and maintenance can do it for you yeah and she was like oh okay well like thank you yeah you're welcome and i already know she's not gonna call maintenance because like you're already not supposed to be certain you're already not supposed to be here. So obviously you're not gonna call maintenance on yourself. Stupid, just stupid. <clears throat> anyway, so yeah, that whole little situation, but I'm just like, I'm just annoyed by the whole thing. Uh, but yeah, I am glad that I was able to get some good sleep today because I did end up sending Jojo to daycare. Just because like, I have been tired and like part of me feels bad for sending him to daycare just because I know that I'm about to be gone in a few days and he's going to be at daycare for like a week and a half but he has so much fun at daycare and I know he loves it and he comes home and he's so dang tired and it's awesome like everything about it is just like a win-win. He's not going to go tomorrow just because daycare is expensive y'all. It's $26.10 a day with our membership discount and that's still a lot that's still a lot um and i try not to think about it because like it's worth it like theoretically yes i could have gotten up today and taken jojo to the dog park instead and the dog park is free with our membership so every month i pay 45 dollars for jojo to like go to daycare and if you do the membership then you get into the dog park for free um and the dog park, like the regular normal dog park entry fee is $10. So if you go to the dog park five times, you've already paid off the membership. And we usually go about like four to five times a week. So it ends up paying for itself. Oh my gosh, y'all, should I do my edges today? I have not done edges in so dang long. Cause it just takes such a long time. But I feel like maybe like if my hair is in the mood to cooperate that I'll be into that. Actually, no, I genuinely don't even have enough time to do that. I could not wear my hair down as a little girl. And I had really long, super healthy hair. And this is not like a, oh, if my mom never permed my hair, then no, this is, this is not that. 
but I had like really, really, really long hair. Like my hair was to my bra strap in fifth grade, but my mom would never, ever, ever let me wear my hair down because like in the black community, like simple things that I look back on now and I'm like, that's literally the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Like wearing your hair down was considered to be grown. Like, and, and if you don't know what like grown means, it means like just you're acting too mature for your age. Like it's too, like almost, sexy really isn't a good word for it, but like, do you kind of see like what I'm trying to say? Like, it's just, it's too much for your age. And that's so crazy, like a hairstyle, like wearing my hair down was seen as like too grown for my age. So the first and only time that I was able to wear my hair down was for my fifth grade graduation and even then i wasn't allowed to have it bone straight i had to have my ends bumped to the gods y'all it was it was ugly it was very very ugly um and i remember i remember vividly and this guy i think he's engaged right now i don't follow him anymore because he does not believe in human rights but um he I liked him and I didn't even think he was cute. I just thought like the idea of like having a crush on a boy at the time was like just so cute and like everybody was getting boyfriends so I was like okay well I am gonna have a crush on him. So I had a crush on him right um and basically I saw that he was liking this girl and me and this girl are like cool to this day like I think she's still like so pretty and she's so sweet um she always wore her hair down and she had long pretty um blonde hair I think her eyes were green I can't remember but he was always saying how he liked when girls wore their hair down and of course I got this fat Horton here's a who like ponytail on the top of my head I'm like bro something got to be done about this something got to be done about this and y'all my hair was not curly back then I used to get um relaxers so my hair was like chemically straightened um and so I took my hair out of this tight formidable like a little ponytail on top of my head and I took it out and I took it down so of course now I have ponytail creases and I'm just like sitting at my desk like like an idiot like an idiot I was sitting there and I was doing that I look back on it now and I think that it's hilarious and well actually not this part um after that he told me was this fourth grade I'm trying to remember no this was fifth grade this was fifth grade um because we were in each other's class in fourth grade this was fifth grade yeah yeah so he said to me this is not a joke this is not a joke the same day that i had my hair down we were on the playground and he said to me jay not jay sorry i'm lying i'm so used to like calling myself jay that whatever he was like jayana i think you're pretty for a black girl i don't think i responded to that at all i think i was just like really hurt by it because he couldn't just say that I was pretty he had to say that I was pretty for a black girl and now seeing what he grew up to be and like how just hateful he is we dodged a bullet ladies we dodged a bullet also there was this boy in fourth grade who used to literally make fun of me every single day and he would just come up to me and just say the most the, the meanest things ever y'all full transparency I was pretty much this height in the fifth grade like imagine me coming up to you saying hey I'm 10 I'm 11 girl yeah right you're the substitute teacher. I used to always get confused with the substitute teacher. And that was like so just embarrassing for me. It was very triggering. Hold on. I'm trying to get dressed and like still talk to y'all. But um, yeah, I used to always get confused for the substitute teacher. And that just really did some things to my mental, you know what I mean? Like it was just like very hard to deal with. But anyway, he would literally make fun of me every single day. And it would kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. And... He was like a dark-skinned black boy and I feel like up until this time like I had never seen a dark-skinned dark skin black boy because everybody in my family is like brown skin and like most of the people in my classes were white so I should just never experience that. Um, but I think one time I said something to him and like looking back on it, it was not a nice thing to say but I was just so sick and tired of just being bullied that I just said it. I think I said something about his skin color and I wish so bad that I could take that back. I mean, I was eight. But I mean, I kind of still wish I could take it back because it was pretty mean. Hold on, let me put my pants in a bra on and I'll come back. I wish I could take it back, but like, obviously I can't anymore. Um, so yeah, that is a story time of a few of the things that happened to me in elementary school. It's not really traumatic, but it feels that way. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all, I want to show y'all this little thing that I made. I gotta cover up my like hospital stuff, but 
Look at this. It's so dang cute. Can y'all see that? You can kind of see it, but it says Jayana has like a smelly face and then all the colors. I just like this makes my badge so fun. Like I already have my enamel pins on here, which make it look so cool. And then I have this. I need to get a new badge reel, like one that's a little bit more fun and colorful, but how fun. I love it. Anyway, um, I am getting ready to go to work. Okay, so I will see y'all in the morning. I love y'all. Okay, good morning, y'all. We're doing a little bit of a different angle, but today is Wednesday, June the 7th. So we have three days until we leave for our trip. Um, okay, let me start off by saying last night's shift was really, really good. Hannah and I had two C-sections um, that we did and they both went great. Lots of laughs were had. Um, the shift last night overall, like super cool, super chill. Um, I got a big chunk of my reading done for the third or fourth book in the Brutal Birthright series. It's going really good. I think this is the fourth book. I'll probably finish it today. Um, but let me just, I'm tired of saying it. I'm tired of saying it and I'm honestly starting to get a little bit pissed off. In what realm of possibility does my Trader Joe's bag look like a freaking trash can? Look like a freaking trash can for you to dump your recyclables into. This is the second time that I've come home and there have been cans filled with liquid in them dumped into my Trader Joe's bag. It's not even next to the trash can. That's the gaggy part. So I just had to fold it up and just put it in the pantry because obviously common sense ain't common. It's just, I don't know, it's just annoying and I'm getting really sick of Martha Stewart or Betty Crocker or whatever we decided to call her, but I'm getting irritated. I'm getting irritated and like, I don't know if I said this, so like, but like, I really just want to go to the leasing office and say, hey, like this person that's not supposed to live in here is living in my apartment right now and I want them gone. G-O-E, -E, I want them gone. Seriously. Like, I'm only going to be living here for about like two more months, like a month and a half really. But like, I'm getting frustrated. But like, the only reason that I don't want to do that is because like, what if this person is in like a really messed up living situation? Like, they can't go back home to their parents because like, they're, you know, abusive or, you know, whatever. Whatever, like, I don't want to push you out over something as simple as like, you're throwing my trash away. You're throwing your trash away and my trash goes back. Like, in hindsight, when I say it like that, it's fine. But like, I think I just need to look by myself. I think the situation is just like really starting to piss me off to an astronomical level and it shouldn't because I am not an only child. Like, y'all, I literally have siblings, so like, I'm used to sharing space, but not with not with imbeciles not with somebody that their two brain cells are just constantly at war fighting over who gets oxygen and who doesn't like it's just really annoying um i'm not gonna let it bother me because it's not gonna be a long-term situation it's not something that i'm gonna be dealing with for much longer um so yeah i'll be moving into my own space and oh my gosh when we get to the point where like i'm moving into my own space and like y'all are seeing the new apartment set up i feel like it's gonna be so cool so fun anyway let me get in the shower and then we can talk a little bit more Okay, hey y'all, so sorry if y'all can hear Jojo slopping on his food, but it is Wednesday, June 7th at 5 p.m. Um, I did wake up without picking y'all up. I'm so sorry about that. I had to pee so bad. I just had to get out of the bed. But anyway, I took Jojo for a walk and then I went to Target because I needed to get him some more dog food. And I also needed some rice and some shredded cheese because I wanted to have another little homemade chipotle burrito bowl. I feel like I already have this in this vlog, but just in case you forgot, it's just rice, lettuce, um, queso, ground turkey, and shredded cheese, and it's really, really good. Okay, y'all, I'm so sorry. Time literally got away from me. I have to leave. I was supposed to leave the house six minutes ago, um, but I love y'all. I will show y'all my hair maybe when I get off in the morning. It's not gonna look as good, but I will show y'all when I get off in the morning. I love y'all so much. I'll see y'all in the morning. Okay, good morning. So sorry that I ran off on y'all, but it is Thursday, June the 8th at 7.39 in the morning. Um, I just want to say, I think it's really crazy how some people at their big grown, did I say big? Big grown age will throw a tantrum about literally anything. Literally anything. Like, you're just too big to be throwing tantrums. You're just, you're, you're too big, you're too old, you're too wide. You're, like, you're, you're too big to be throwing the tantrums that you're throwing. Anyway, last night was a good night. Uh, it was really, really slow. We didn't really have... A lot going on um, which was good but me Hannah and I were there and so of course we were laughing and joking the entire time I was trying to write in our delivery book because we recently got a new delivery book so like all of our other entries had to be transferred over to this new book and I have pretty nice handwriting and so I was asked to write in it but I messed up one and so Hannah took over and so she did it and now it's her passion project I'm pretty sure she's gonna do it tonight we briefly thought that Hannah was gonna maybe be able to do love census tonight but 
she's like one of the senior nurses so she's probably not going to be able to do that um so i will be going in tonight for four hours and it'll be my last shift working before i go on vacation i don't really mind doing a four hour shift it's just like it kind of makes my day like a little bit choppy um just because i know when i get home that i'm not gonna be sleepy because i'm probably gonna get home at like 11 ish 12. um i definitely want to be there after day shift has already left the building um but yeah, so that's kind of the plan. I never got to show y'all the braids, but these are the braids that I did on my hair last night. I didn't show y'all just because like I was watching the YouTube video and I didn't want y'all to have to listen to the YouTube video that I was watching. But I'm really excited for tomorrow because we're getting our nails done. I'll possibly be able to get a Brazilian wax because I think my period is off. So I'm going to give it like a day to like fully be off and then I'll go and take the best shower. Well, I'll take the best shower of my life and then I'll go and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I can get my tutor waxed i feel like it'll be really fun because i'm going to the beach and like i just don't want to be having a shave and you know all that good stuff but if if my period is still on i don't mind i'll just save the wax for when i go to disney world because i feel like i'll still be going to the beach and you know all that good stuff um so yeah right now i'm going to get in the shower and then i'll pick y'all back up when we in the bed y'all know how we do this y'all know how we do this by now all right y'all so it is 806 in the morning i am about to have my breakfast i don't know why but like recently i have been on a like hospital breakfast kick because the breakfast at the hospital is so dang good and i just keep saying that the food at our hospital is just like top tier like maybe not the food that the patients get like on their meal trays but like in the cafeteria food be too good too good anyway so i'm eating some cheesy eggs i have a biscuit i have a kaneka sausage i have some grits and then i put a little bit of honey right here and then i'm having some lemonade i'm not gonna pick it up because it is filled to the brim so i am going to eat this and then i'll come back and talk to y'all after um i am about to get ready to go to work and i will see y'all when i get back it's only going to be a four hour shift so we'll be able to talk a little bit more tonight um, i'm actually a little bit early i'm really annoyed that i wasn't able to make my grilled cheese that kind of pisses me off but anyway i'm gonna stop being mad y'all i feel like i'm going off i don't know why i feel like i'm going off i need to stop i need to stop i need to calm down i need to calm down anyway let's go to work for these little four hours and then i'll be back okay so i got off work at like 10 52 and i came home i took jojo out and i made dinner i just made some pasta and some breadsticks Oh, well, I took a shower and then I made food and I talked to Justin for a little bit um, and we FaceTimed and I ended up falling asleep and now it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Don't really know how that happened. Um, I think I am just going to go ahead and go to sleep for the night, but before I do that, I will be eating at these chocolate chip cookies that Riley made because they are too good to be saved at all. Um, so I'm gonna eat that and then I will see y'all in the morning. Y'all, we have so much stuff to do tomorrow. I'm trying not to be overwhelmed by the thought of it, but we have a lot of stuff to do. Um, so yeah, buckle up. I'm gonna say good morning, but the reality of the situation is that I have not been to sleep at all. I tried and tried and tried and I could not go to sleep. I even put down my phone. I even tried to read a little bit, but the book got so interesting that it was keeping me more awake. But right now it is 6.51 in the morning and we're just gonna go ahead and start our day. Okay, so I'm dressed for the day. Let me pan the camera down. Um, I feel like nothing I have on matches right now, but it don't matter because we're about to go and get an oil change from my car, possibly get new tires, hopefully not, hopefully my tires are fine and they just need air. Um, Target and the car wash. So this is what we got. I have on my lavender Nike hat. I have on this super cute, fun colored shirt that I got when Justin and I were in Atlanta and we went to the World of Coke factory and then I have on my chacos and yeah let's go okay so I went and got my oil changed and I had a new person new person is in like it was like one of his first days um he didn't necessarily do the oil change like somebody else did it like I couldn't see because like you know they go under your car um and I asked him if he would check my tires and I'm not entirely sure that he knows how to check tires. Not entirely sure about that, but he did put air in them, but it did not necessarily fix the problem that my car was having. So that leads me to believe that it's something else. Um, I just hope that it gets me to mobile and back. That's really all I can hope for right now. Um, also, I went to Walmart because they had the 60 pack of Polaroid film for several, several dollars cheaper. Um, but then I go in here and they don't have it. So, 
instead of going to Walmart, which I didn't want to go to Walmart anyway, we are going to go to, uh, what is it called? The car wash. So let's go to the car wash. Go. Sorry, y'all. I thought it was filming the whole time and it wasn't. Please enjoy the car wash. What's left of it anyway? Okay, so my car is officially all cleaned out. Since I am gonna be the one driving to Panama, I just wanted to make sure that my car was in tip top shape, tip top condition. Um, so yeah, it's all cleaned out. It smells like vanilla, which is really, really good. Now let's go to Target. Okay, so we are leaving out of Target. I'm gonna show y'all what I got. I got the Polaroid film and the gag is, is that it was the same price that it was at Walmart, like the lower price, so is what it is 60 pack of polaroid so that should be good for my trip this is the deodorant that i use it's the dove even tone it is the only reason that i don't have dark underarms because i shave all the time and i love it and then i got some copper tone sport 50 because we're going to the beast this weekend and i wanted to make sure i had some sunscreen i was gonna get the black girl sunscreen but it was 15.99 and it was like this big um so we just got another kind of sunscreen and apparently this one is really good for a sensitive skin which i have um naya just texted me and she said jay rain check on the nails so we will not be getting our nails done today which that is fine um i'm still gonna try to do the brazilian today and still gonna get my nails done but i probably well now i, feel, I don't feel as much like i'm on a time crunch but i did just order chick-fil-a so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go ahead and go because i know that their breakfast ends at is it 10 or 10 30 now i feel like it's 10 30 anyway we're gonna go to chick-fil-a and get us some breakfast all right so my wax appointment is at 12 45 it is 12 28 um I took a Tylenol. I took two Tylenol and I drank some water before. I took a shower. I exfoliated down there. I didn't put any lotions or creams or oils or anything like that. Um, I'm wearing loose baggy clothes. Now I just, no way a bird just pooped on my car. I had to go through the car wash again. That really pisses me off anyway um but i'm gonna go in here i am trying to be like so calm but i'm actually freaking out but like when i looked up like the european wax center and i look at their reviews first of all they have a 4.9 stars out of five and all of the reviews talk about harley and about how great harley is and about how she like makes everybody comfortable she's super quick she's very efficient and all that good stuff and i just need to do it i just need to do it i understand that the first time is probably going to be the worst because my hair is thick and it's unruly and it's never been you know ripped out like this before right i'm not expecting my pain to be a zero i'm expecting for it to hurt but i feel like vlogging is like gonna take some of the edge off and it'll make it a little bit funny but i just i, I can't keep shaving i can't keep shaving i hate it i don't mind shaving my legs and my armpits and whatever but shaving my tootie um it's annoying and i feel like i can never get it all and i'd be having uh what's it called ingrowns i don't, don't want to be dealing with that i don't want to be dealing with that i just want to go to the beach and have my cheeks out that's it that's it and if, if this is the price i have to pay for that fine rip it out fine fine but then she's also gonna see my and nobody's ever seen my before like <sighs> yeah but she's not gonna remember and like i was just saying like i work in labor and delivery and i see people's 2d and people's all the time and I never remember their face like I can never match a tootie to a face so I think it's gonna be fine I just need to relax I'm doing so much anyway let's go in here hopefully 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 she lets me vlog from the review she sounds pretty cool so I think it'll be okay mom I just got a Brazilian wax it wasn't bad and you know everything hurt me everything everything hurt me it was not bad it was not bad. I didn't scream. I keep saying I'm a try, but I ain't tried it. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. Like she talked me like through the whole thing. I feel like getting my eyebrows threaded hurt worse than that. Or like getting my eyebrows waxed hurt worse than that. But I I just knew I was gonna cry. I just knew. Cause she was like, go ahead and drop your pants and get on the table and butterfly. I was like, girl, I don't even know you for real. <laughs> and I was like, I'm gonna be honest, like Ain't nobody ever seen my butthole before, so like, <laughs> this is a little weird. And she was like, it's fine. And I was telling her, like, I work in labor and delivery, so like, I see people butthole, like, every day. Like, it's not a big deal. And she was like, it's fine. Like, she do this all the time. But it wasn't bad at all. I mean, it, like, the first, like, strip, 
well they do like the insides first and so that kind of like caught me off guard and i was like ooh. and then they do like the big strip of like the side that put some hair on my chest for real but like i didn't scream or anything it really went bad like i would do it for the rest of my life i ain't, it, it was great how long did it take like eight minutes oh really yeah okay. yeah she was so fast and she was so nice and then it was half off because it was my first time so it was like thirty dollars and then she gave me this um this little serum to take with me so yeah but then i would i was talking to justin before and he was like, it's going to be fine. Like, they're going to know you from TikTok, blah, blah, blah. I was like, no, I hope they don't know me from TikTok. As soon as I walked in, they were like, oh, my gosh, you're that girl from TikTok. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. And then when I talked to her, she was like, oh, my gosh, yeah, like, I'll be watching all your TikTok. And I'm like, this girl seeing my butthole and she followed me on TikTok. It was embarrassing. It was a little bit embarrassing, but it was also kind of funny. But, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I just got back from getting my nails done, and the person that, I went to them one time, and I didn't really like my nails, but they were the only person available at the time, so, they did my nails again, I like the color, it's just like, kind of like a, sorry, you can probably see them better like this, but it's just like a dark blue, but they obliterated, I probably can't show that on YouTube, but, they obliterated my side thumb and took off like so much skin from my cuticle and it was like bleeding profusely and it wouldn't stop and they were freaking out so bad to the point they put glue on it to try to stop the bleeding and then it started bleeding more i was like oh my gosh anyway still tip 20 percent because i mean you do what you have to do um but now i think we're gonna go and check my p.o box so let's go and do that really fast okay i just went to my p.o box we're gonna make it quick because it is so dang hot and I need to go to my car appointment. Oh my gosh! Ava Goes to School by Chanel in Amobi. How cute is that? I'm gonna drop this off at the um, Peds station at my hospital. How stinking cute! I'm loving that. That's so sweet. Okay, let's take a moment and let's debrief. So, the last y'all saw me, y'all are going to have to excuse Jojo eating in the microwave. It's probably going to go off in a few minutes. But anyway, so after my nail appointment, I went to go and check my P.O. box. So I know that. And then I went ahead to go over to my car appointment. So I go there and like I tell him what's wrong. And he like repeats it back to me. But it's like, your car is doing this. Yes, my car is doing this. Yes. So he gives me like some very... He gives me like some very vague directions and I follow them as best I can. And then I like pull my car up into the little bay, whatever. And he takes my keys and he was like, they're going to do like a little kind of like all over car inspection just to kind of see what the problem is. That's $19. Is that okay? Yes, that's okay. So I sit in the waiting room and while I'm sitting in the waiting room, there's this white woman and this black man and they're talking to each other. They're older people. And I'm just on my phone reading my book. And then the white lady leaves and I'm just left with this man. It's important, it's important that I say that he is a black man because it relates to the story. Anyway, so I'm sitting there minding my own business, not even talking to anybody. And he was like, um, I don't even remember. He was like, um, are they doing something major to your car? And I was like, no, like, I think I just need new tires. And he was like, oh, okay. He was like, are you in school? And I was like, yes. And he was like, uh, the university? And I was like, yes. And he was like, okay, let me guess, either business or science. I was like, science. He's like, oh, you're going to school to be a doctor. No, I am in nursing school. He was like, oh, oh, yeah, oh. And I'm like, what the, what? And he was like, why don't you want to be a doctor? And I was like, well, I was pre-med bio for two and a half years, but I changed out of it just because I wasn't happy doing it. And also the end result wasn't something that I wanted, i.e. there's not enough hands-on patient care, like honestly getting to know the patient, not even as a patient, but like as a person. He was like, oh, but you, you missing out on so much money. You missing out on so much money. My mental health and well-being is worth more than money. I know that the older generation like doesn't really believe in that, but that's how I feel. Anyway, so I was like, no, like, I'm not going to sell myself short just for a couple dollars. Like, it's, it's just not that deep. 
he was like, oh, but you could be a, a practice. No, he was like, so, so I'm going to assume that you are going to go back to school so that you can be a nurse practitioner so you can be a doctor. No. I have absolutely no interest in being a nurse practitioner. At all. Ever. Like, at this point in time, I'm not going to... Never say never, but like at this point in time, like I have no desire to be a nurse practitioner. And I was like, I might go back to CRNA school if I feel like, you know, that's where life is leading me. He was like, oh, that ain't no money. That ain't no one. Sir, what do you do besides get on my nerves? What, what do you do? So anyway, keep talking, keep talking. He was like, yeah, I just really want like young black people to stop settling. Like you settle it. I'm not settling. If this is something that I want, something that I enjoy, something that I'm passionate about, I'm not settling and you're pissing me off. Let's start there. He was like, I just want young black people to reach for the stars and yada yada yada. And I'm like, what the, what does this have to do? When, when is your car going to be ready? Because you're getting on my nerves. And so we just keep talking about like how I'm selling myself short and I'm settling. Like, sir, no disrespect, but you don't know me. You, you, you literally don't know me. Like, what if I don't have the the intelligence or the want or the drive to go to medical school and I flop then what you look stupid but yeah he just kept going on and on and on about how I was selling myself short and then like when he left he was like all right drop out of nursing school and go be a doctor girl I almost gave him a, a finger I almost gave him a finger anyway so they after they left well after he left I guess they were then working on my car because he was the person in front of me and I already knew that it was bad when the man came and he sat down in a chair instead of just standing up. Standing up me like, oh, like, you know, it's really quick. Like, we're just going to do, you know, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. No. He sat down, put his glasses on, and pulled out this stack of papers. Basically, I'm, I'm just read to you. I'm just read to you. Vehicle inspection. Enter wheel torque. Okay. Customer concern. Vibration while braking and driving on the right front passenger side. Rods with play, strut mounts worn out, CV axles with play, starting to sling, grease, okay, front tire showing wire on inner edges, rear tires are incorrect size, customer decline repairs at this time. You want to know why customer decline care at this, or not care, Lord, switch off my nursing brain. You want to know why the customer decline repairs at this time? That is because... The estimate, y'all ready for this? The estimate is three thousand, three thousand dollars and twenty eight cent. Yeah, I love my car with my entire heart and soul. I do. I promise you, I do. I got that car out of the mud, right? Working every single day, all, like literally the entire summer, worked every single day, no breaks, right? To get that car. That car meant a lot to me. That car is like the personification of how hard I work for something that I want. And I love that car. It has been so good to me. And I've had that car for five years almost. In July, I think it'll be five years. That car is a 2011. It's a 2011 Ford Focus, and Fords are already have like you know their own issues. But I just feel like that car is over 10 years old. It's 12 years old. I just think that it's time to move on to something else. So, probably two vlogs from now, I will have a new car, and uh, you know it's. I just feel like it's time it's time and it's okay and I don't know why like I'm sad and I'm like frustrated and I'm overwhelmed because like oh my gosh like the hassle that it's the hassle the hassle of buying a new car is so dang frustrating like having to read between the lines and car salesmen are like so slick and greasy you know what I mean like it's just a lot and it's also something that I'm gonna have to do on my own which is okay I'm a strong independent black woman you know and I have been seeing some cars that I like. I don't want to get anything that's older than a 2020. Now, if I have my way and everything went, you know, swelled and perfect and awesome, I will have the 2023 Kia Sportage because it's gorgeous. My second choice will be the Kia K5. My third choice, anything that's like an SUV or like a really nice sedan with like the, the nice LED display. I like those. 
Um, but yeah, so this is, this is big girl. This is big girl. But, um, yeah, I'm going to debrief because I have had a very long day and we still have not packed. <laughs> we still have not packed. Um, but I still will be driving my car to Mobile and I will be praying to the Lord above that my car makes it from Tuscaloosa to Mobile, from Mobile to Tuscaloosa, and that's all I needed to do. That's all I needed to do. So, um, hopefully, prayerfully, we'll be able to get to that point. But yeah, it's always something. It is always something. Um, but right now, I'm just gonna eat, and I'm just gonna kind of like, wind down just a little bit. I thought I was gonna go to the gym today, but I don't think I'm going to, just because like I have so much going on. I'm already like a little bit stressed, so I just kind of wanna, calm down for a little bit before we get to packing which i'm excited for packing but i just like need a second all right y'all so we have reached the end of this vlog i am officially done packing and i am about to go to sleep the next vlog that y'all see we are in full vacation mode and i'm so excited be safe be good be kind to yourself be kind to others i love you